Welcome to another Magic Q video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Magic HD time code. So it's a way that we can get time code into the console when we don't have an external time code source. We're using our own Kamsis Magic HD to provide the time code for us. Uh, and this way, we can also include both video and lighting into something. So, of course, we have to patch in Magic HD. We have some other videos about how to deal with Magic HD and how to patch it into the console, so I'm not going to go too deeply into that. But suffice to say, I have my Magic HD here, my output layer, my text layer, and then eight layers uh, patched into Universe 9. Uh, I want to make sure in Setup that it is set up correctly, so I always want to go check out Setup, View System, and then View Media and then look for my Magic HD here. So Magic HD is set to uh, local. Everything else looks okay. If I had it on a external computer, if I had my Magic HD on an external computer and I was using it with a console, then I would want to put my IP address in here. But if I'm using it locally or using it on the same PC, then I can just have local in here. I also want to make sure in my MIDI timecode tab in my settings that I have my timecode decode here set to internal Magic HD. If it's set correctly, I should see HD timecode down here. When I have Magic HD timecode running, I'll see these numbers running. If everything is set up correctly, then I can go to my media page and I can just test it and make sure. Uh, I could go to my Magic HD and just locate it and just make sure that I'm getting output here on my Magic HD media player window. And also, if I have it set up in my Viz, that I'm getting a signal to my Viz as well. Once I have everything tested, it's working, it's great, cool. Now I can move on to programming. The key trick in getting Magic HD time code working is when you choose Magic HD, you have to go to your output layer, go to control, and then down here you'll see time code output. And this is going to tell you what layer it's going to output the time code to. So if I click in here once, it's going to be layer one, and layer two, and so on and so forth. So you just have to be cognizant of what layer you're applying the time code to. Uh, in this case, I will just do layer one. And then I can record as normal. I can pick my media, make sure my, that my layer is at full. And then I can pick my media. And if you set it up correctly, you'll see that there'll be a number here in the beginning of your time code. This is your time code actually running here, five seconds in frames. The number here at the beginning refers to the media file that you're using within your folder. So this is the third image, the third media here that I'm using. If I jump over to this one here, then now this one is the 10th media file. So you just want to make sure that you see this number here when you're doing Magic HD time code. If you don't see this number here, then you need to make sure and go back and check some of the other settings and stuff and make sure they're correct. If everything is set up correctly, then the next thing you need to do when you're recording your Q stack is make sure that your halt field is set to time code. There's a couple different options in here. Usually it's by default going to be set to no or actually a halt of yes is what it's going to be set to by default. Um, you want to make sure you open up and put in time code, and then that gives you the ability to go ahead and put in specific time codes in here that you want. Again, make sure that you put in the number of the clip that you want in the beginning of that time code. And then when I hit play here, my time code will just work. There's my cues. Now I've set this one up to stop at the end of this clip, so you'll see that the clip stops and it gets to the end of the time code and the time code stops as well because the clip itself stopped. So the time code is tied to the clip itself. In this one over here, I had it loop. These are choices that you can make in the media server itself, how you want the clip to react and stuff. So in this clip, I have it set to loop. If I hit play. And then this time you'll see it will continue to just loop the video as well as loop my fixtures and my time code and everything in this clip. And it's really that simple to get 
Magic HD timecode working on the console. If you have any questions, always feel free to contact us at support at camsislighting.com, or you can always give us a call to the support line, which is found on our website, camsislighting.com.